Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm coming back at you with another flashlight review. Looking at the Claris Mi7 today. This is the red anodized version. It's kind of got a lighter hue to it. It's definitely red though. Um, it's just a different shade of red. Almost has a light red, slightly pink hue to it. I don't really see the pink, but um, believe me, in, in person, I know it's on the camera, it looks a little lighter than it actually is in person. It definitely looks red. So this is a 1AA light, uh, also takes a 14500 and converts up to 700 lumens with that 1400, 14500, that is amazing. Comes in this little packaging here that is using the Cree XPL High V3 LED. Um, your, low, your low mode is 90 lumens, moonlight is 5 lumens, strobe is 700 with a 14500 battery, and your SOS is 90. Um, you're gonna get even on high 53 lumens or 53 minutes on high at 700 lumens. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good runtime for that many lumens. And you're gonna get 330 lumens on a double A battery. So you're losing quite a bit of power there with the standard double A, and um, your runtime is only going up by two minutes. So that's pretty amazing what they're doing with these little lights on that, those 14500 batteries. Um, your peak beam intensity is 3025 and your max beam distance is 110 meters. Um, it is IPX8 waterproof and weighs in about 20, uh, 0.93 ounces without the battery. Now this one has an orange peel reflector on it. This one has, um, and it comes with, before I get into it, comes with a little lanyard. Man, that thing was a pain to get open. There we go. So you got your lanyard in here and comes with like a little clip and then your manual. Now, here's the dealio with this one. It doesn't come with a pocket clip. The pocket clip you see on here is actually not for this flashlight. So this is how you get it, just like this. Now it's compact, it's slim, um, it's slightly smaller, it's, around the, it's, a, it's a little bit longer than the uh, True Night THT, TH10, but I'll show that here in a second. I cannot get this little baggie open, how funny. So it comes with a, a lanyard, and then it comes with like a little clip, like an S-clip almost. One of those Night Gear style, I'm not having a hard time with that bag for whatever reason. So it comes with that little clip, so you can attach it on there and have someone attach it to your pants. Now, this is one thing I didn't like about this, it didn't come with a pocket clip, so I had my, a um, couple of my through night double A's. The Archer V3 clip works perfectly on this light. Bam. And there you go, you got a pocket clip. So that's how I've been carrying it. Really dig this light. Uh, well, just really well made. Nice anodization. Nice milling. Uh, just really good looking knife. I mean, knife, excuse me. Flashlight. Really well done. Just really cool looking. It comes in black and a blue color. The blue is a little more teal, I would say, than blue. It does come in black. And you have a front switch here that's really kind of subdued. I like that quite a bit. And your I mean, your modes are a little different on this one. If you want to go in like a moonlight, you just hold it down for a couple seconds, and you're in moonlight. And if you want to go into strobe from there, you just double click. It goes back to moonlight. Now, if you turn it off and just do a single click, you go right into your high mode. Now, this actually has the 14500 battery in it right now, so that's 700 lumens that you're looking at. It's pretty bright. And then you have a medium mode. So there's really not a low. It's just, I guess the low is considered moonlight. Um, maybe this is considered low. So maybe no medium. Um, and then you have your moonlight and then your SO or your strobe. So you have just those basic modes, but for me, it's I love the fact that you can, if I need to go into strobe real quick, like, you know, if I'm EDC in this light and I'm using it with my uh, firearm or I'm using it self for self-defense or something, I can quickly go into strobe by just clicking that twice, disorient someone. If I want to use it, you know, just in really low light and I don't want to give it my night vision or I want to do some reading, like up a map or something, this is the mode I would want it in. And then if I want to go straight to high because I want to you know, see something and eliminate something really quickly, it's just a simple press of the button you're in the highest mode. So I, I really like the interface of this light. Um, some people may not. I, I think it's pretty good. Um, here's a size comparison with the 39TH10 I mentioned. Actually, it's a slightly bit shorter than that one. Definitely shorter than the Archer V3 and the previously reviewed Manker E11 is just slightly shorter. But this is the thinnest of all these lights as well. So it's thinner and it's almost the smallest of all of them. The, the Manker's a little bit shorter overall, but very easy to carry. Don't even know you have it in your pocket. Um, and this one actually has some pretty good throw. We're gonna go outside, 
get some illumination shots or you know outside shots kind of go to those modes I kind of I like to throw in this one a little bit more than the maker um, it the maker's more floody this has a little bit more throw to it so stay tuned All right, so here's the Claris with a standard double-a uh, battery nickel metal hydride it's about 333 lumens that's the shed out there this is your high mode this is your low mode you can see though uh, we'll put in the 14500 so you can see the throw on this one. So let me switch that out real quick. Main thing is I want to show you how bright this light is with the 14500 battery in it. So much brighter. All by just changing a battery. Okay, there is the 14500. So it's considerably brighter. It's lighting up that whole shed now. Let's see if we can get a good idea to throw on this thing. Where's that tree at? I'm picking up that tree on camera, so we'll just stick with the shed. Pretty decent throw. There's a good amount of flood, but pretty decent throw on this one as well. There's my kid's toy structure. So that's 700 lumens. So between this and the, and the maker I reviewed earlier, um, they're very, very similar. You're not going to tell a whole lot of difference between the two. Strobe warning. And there's your strobe, SOS. I said SOS just meant strobe. Wait, it changes. Look at that. That's just the strobe mode and it actually changes. Didn't know that until now. Pretty crazy. So there you go. 700 lumens out of that small little light. Pretty impressive. Just for fun, we'll do a comparison. This is the this first light up is the Maker E11. This next one is the Claris. Next to each other, you really can't tell a difference. All right, so we're back. Let's wrap up the video. Uh, overall, really digging this Claris Mi7. It's been a great little light. It has a really good runtime on that high lumen. 53 minutes on 700 lumens is quite a bit. Um, it's good size for EDC. It just kind of disappears in your pocket. The only negative I would say is it doesn't come with a pocket clip, but that was an easy fix. And you may find if you have other AA lights around that their pocket clips would probably work on this light. I just don't understand why they wouldn't put it on there. I don't know why they thought that little S Spinner clip was a solution it's not for most people but uh, works out well with the through night clip on there and it, this has become my new little EDC flashlight I really dig it I might pick one up in black as well um, it's just a great little light tons of light if you put a throw it's 14500 in there you got more lumens than you're probably gonna need and um, and really nice interface and this this button does not come on um, easily you know you can see you're hitting her rubbing it the lights not coming on you really have to give it a press for it to come on so I like that for that forward uh, switch as well. So, no negatives here. It didn't get too hot either. Even on 700 lumens, the heat, it doesn't warm up too bad, which is good. Um, so it dissipates the heat pretty well. So overall, very impressed. Price on this one, I'll put a link in the description. I believe they're about 40 to 50 dollars. Um, I'll put a link in the description though to make sure of the price. But I think I paid around 49.99 on Amazon, um, and Again, it comes in three different colors, and I, mine came with like a little USB light as well. I, th I think it was. Let me just check real quick. Pretty sure it was fifty bucks, forty or fifty bucks. But overall, a good value. Um, a lot of lumens. I mean, it's that maker puts out a hundred more lumens, but you're not going to notice uh, much difference between the two. And uh, I like the I like this one better. I think it's machined a little better. It, it just looks nicer and it's a little slimmer in the pocket, which I like. So that's this is why this has become my new uh, EDC light. So, okay, I found the price here on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to my store. And didn't pull up. Come on now.
really. <laughs> of course, I'm trying to look it up on camera. That's what happens. So anyway, I'll put it in the description. But it's around forty bucks, forty to fifty dollars, no more than that. And I think it's really worth it. It's it's a good price. And Claris is a good brand. Um, I've had a few of their flashlights in the past, and I haven't had one for a while. But this is really well made and uh, just a great little EDC light. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.